everyone. Today we're going to make my favorite instant ramen. This one is from Japan. It's called Saburo Ichiban. It's not a spicy ramen that I usually make uh, for my kids or for my family. But this one is just a nice umami, savory, salty flavor with no spice. I think you're going to like this one. It's not that easy to find at the Asian grocery store. They're usually sold out of it. So actually when I do see it in the original flavor, I will buy the whole box. And this box does not last that long in my family. I'm going to cook two packets of the original Sabaro Ichiban today. I have a nice fatty pork belly. This one I bought at Costco. It's a whole big family pack, but pork belly has all the nice layers of the meat and fat. So we love to eat that. I have some nice fresh spinach from HEB and I'm going to use one egg and I'm going to show you how to make this instant gourmet ramen. It should taste like the ones that you buy at the ramen houses um, in your local neighborhood, but this one is going to be really fast, easy, cheap, and ready to eat in your home. You're going to turn your heat on to medium high. I already have my water in here. They always give you directions on how to cook it. Um, this one said 500 ml. I'm making two, so I put 1000 ml. You're going to let that boil. Okay, while we wait for our water to boil, I'm going to go ahead and cook my pork belly. All you need for the pork belly is a nice pan, a good nonstick pan. You don't even need any oil since the pork belly has a lot of fat on it. Heat it up. You're going to let that sizzle on each side for about two minutes. Okay, I can see it browning. I'm gonna flip it. Oh, I need to cover it up. Okay, looks like it's done. Yep, it's done. We're gonna turn off the heat and put it to the side. And if you don't have pork belly, any kind of pork works well. If you're going leaner, chicken is always good but the original Japanese ramen, they use pork broth, pork, meat. It's all pork based. So that's why a lot of people like that flavor in the Japanese ramen. Korean ramen is totally different. They like spicy, seafoody taste. So I got my meat on the side. I'm gonna let this boil. And then I'm gonna throw in my noodles and my veggies. In the meantime, look at how nicely the pork belly turned out. Love the browning of the fat and the meat. This is exactly how I like to eat my pork belly. So we're gonna put that aside because we're gonna slice it right before we put, throw that into the ramen. While that's about to boil, make sure you open up the packets. Save the sauce packet. We're gonna throw that in later. So you're going to put the sauce packet to the side. Just only want to take out your noodles. I like taking out my noodles and then just placing it on top of the bag like that. So it's easy access and I can just throw it in right when it starts boiling. Now my noodles are ready, my vegetables are ready because that will cook really fast. Now, if you don't already have stainless steel pots and pans, I highly recommend investing in some, especially the pots because they tend to just be more efficient when you're cooking. I've had mine forever. I love my stainless steel pots and pans. This one is from Korea and this has gone through and seen many, many uses and it still works great and I love using stainless steel. Okay, so once it starts boiling like that, you can just start getting your noodles ready. Throw in both packets of your noodles. I like to always just push down on it, so both packets of my ramen soup base. And you want to make sure you get all the sauce base in there. Sometimes when you're cooking you don't get all of the sauce packet inside because it starts to like uh, get all moist inside and there'll be like a big chunk in there. So just make sure all that is inside. Go ahead and give it a stir. Yep, just like that. 
And this should take three minutes max, and that's just enough time for me to cut my pork belly. I'm gonna crack my egg, put it in there, and I love to mix it around. Okay, once the egg is in, you want to go ahead and throw in your vegetables. I'm gonna throw in my spinach in there just to give it some greens. And pretty much, I like to just blanch my vegetables because I like to eat them crunchy still. I don't like them overcooked. Okay, we're ready to get a nice big bowl. And you don't have to put it in the bowl if you don't want, actually. I know a lot of people that just like to eat it from the pot. It just gets too hot for me. So I like to put it in the bowl and helps the noodles cool down a little bit. I'm just gonna scoop it out. Lots of people love to eat their egg like that. I don't even know what it's called. But with the yolk oozing out, we'll just put it right on top. Put your pork belly really nicely on top. And like I said, you can use pork belly, you can use pork chop meat, um, you can use any meat you want. Wow, doesn't that look so good? It is really good. I mean, this ramen is really good by itself, but after many, many years of growing up eating it, I like adding things to it to um, just kind of spice it up. That's how easy it is to make instant gourmet ramen. Okay, guys, I hope you like this video. Make sure you subscribe, like, and I'll see you next time. Bye.